welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have a special video. I'm gonna be testing out some new markers that I received a couple of days ago. Uh, the behind story is that uh, Parco, the company that I'm gonna be testing out their markers, they emailed me a couple of weeks ago and they asked me if I could test out the product and give them unbiased opinion on the products. And to be honest, I'm really excited because this is my first time anyone has ever emailed me to ask me to do this. So I thought this was a, a great opportunity. So they sent me their markers and you can see guys, this is the marker they, they, they sent me out. It's the barcode. And they sent me the 12 colors and they're dual tips brush markers. It's specifically designed for coloring artists. I have to be honest, the only markers I have used in the past has been this one's right here, Ohuhu markers. I'm gonna be comparing it to the only markers I have used in the past. I wanna compare them and see if um, they're better or worse than Ohuhu markers. Design perspective, they're very similar looking. They're both white, they both have uh, dual tips. They have one side that's uh, the pointy side and then they have like a broad side. And yeah, so I look forward to creating something for you guys today using these markers. Hopefully you guys will like what I'm doing. Today I'm gonna be doing Majin Buu. Uh, he's a really cool character. And because I couldn't decide which Majin Buu version to do, I decided to do all of them guys. So it's gonna be a combination of all the Majin Buu forms. So stay tuned to see how it comes out. Thanks guys.
hope you enjoyed the video. I have to be honest, I really enjoy the barcode markers, um, especially the, the thin side, because the thin side, it feels very brushy feeling. Like whoever has painted before in the past will agree with me that it has a very soft touch when you actually use it. And when you compare it to the Hulu marker, the finer side, it's more rounder and it just feels like a typical marker that like you know when we all used when we were kids like the cheaper ones and to be honest uh, I really enjoyed that uh, I think just made it more pleasurable to to actually use them because I, I enjoyed doing it smoothly and it just it felt it felt just a slide through the paper it was really nice what else uh, I can say that the, the blending the blending it, it was really good um, as you can see I only had a 12 pair of, uh, of markers so my coloring was very limited to uh, the range of colors I had to use and I have to say for the most part I did a really good job here I'm gonna show you guys the final product and you guys can be the judge specifically in the skin I only use one marker and the way to create the dimension I only, the only thing I was doing was if you saw in the video that I basically went over to make it darker and it worked out just great and you can see it created dimension and when I had to combine colors for certain areas where I didn't have that specific color I noticed the blending was really good. Uh, for example, in the tongue, I, I had, it was like a really weird green, uh, bluish that uh, the character has. So I combined um, some yellow and green, and it came out really good. The only thing I, I have to um, say to you guys is that uh, there's one part in the video, actually two parts, where I wasn't able to use the Arco markers because once again my um, color limitation was there so I couldn't get the right colors so I did have to use my Ohuhu markers to do those parts the parts that I had to use the Ohuhu markers were in his robe uh, Majin Buu's robe and also in old Majin Buu I had to use it for his skin because the skin color that of the character is a really um, kind of it's kind of like a purplish gray, and uh, unfortunately in the part two I don't have gray, so I couldn't create that color. And I did want to keep the colors of the characters as similar as possible for you know for for the viewers. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I will continue to test out the markers and so you guys can keep seeing uh, further um, review and more samples of comparisons between the Harku markers and the Hulu markers. I'm thinking for the next video, well I don't want to give it away but basically I'm going to be comparing them and on a, in a way that you guys can see if maybe parkour is something that you guys want to test out in the future i i say from the first time user i had really a good time using them and i say they were they are professional markers they're not beginner markers they are actually of really good quality um and that's all i can say at the moment about them and i just want to say um also this drawing that i just did i'm gonna be selling it in my website so there's going to be a link below in my info so whoever's interested uh, buy it off and i will be also doing uh prints if anyone wants to buy a poster version of it um, those will be uh, also for sale so thank you once again guys for watching my video i hope you enjoy it uh, look forward to seeing you guys in my next video thanks